I think uh, Roughneck fans are very, very happy. This is an incredible first half. I mean, we're seeing some great play out there. Um, I love the drama of that first touchdown where Dean Blandino has to call it. So a lot of what we thought would be wonderful, which is getting access to, you know, the, the ref calls, the challenges, that's that's fantastic. I think it's bringing a lot to the game. And the, uh, you know, our earlier game was amazing. We had incredible competition. So this is an incredible kickoff. I couldn't be happy. I think it all started with the early your game uh, because you never know how that's going to go, right? So there was so much riding on that opening game, the open kickoff, yep. and it wound up being a great nail biter. Came down to the last couple of minutes, and I think that just fed yeah. Houston because Houston's up next, and the Guardians are up next, and the yeah. Roughnecks are up next. So you felt the energy uh, here in this first half. So it's a it's a great game. Yeah. Dwayne, uh, just how big is it having a local icon in a huge city like this, like Wade Phillips, to lead the team to the Roughnecks? I mean, it was by design you know he is not only a local icon but he's also a hometown boy and it was it's it's Wade Phillips it's his entire family University of Houston I mean really it's it's perfect you know and as pretty decent storytellers as we are uh, it was a really nice story for us great to, for it to converge but also what you also realize when you look at how these Houston Roughnecks are playing um, there's a uh, there's an experience that they're already playing with based on Wade Phillips, who's been around and won championships. So you could see that on the field. Dwayne, right from your football days, how much is this something you would have enjoyed to have a league like this when you were out? Man, great question. I talk to Jerry and Danny about this all the time. I wish I had the XFL around when I was coming out of University of Miami, when Danny and I were coming out of the University of Miami. We, the three of us, had have put a lot of um, uh, a lot of effort into creating a league of second chances, a league of passion, a league of grit, and also too, you know, when you think about the partnerships that we've created, Jerry, talk a little bit about the partnerships that we've created from the NFL, also on down. Yeah, look, I mean, it's uh, you're only as good as the people you put around you, and in this case, we really have put a, a whole NFL quality ecosystem around us, starting with obviously our development collaboration with the NFL, obviously the best live event entertainers and storytellers on the planet. Uh, and uh, one of the best media companies in the world with Disney ESPN. Uh, but I, I also have to say, I think Russ Brandon and the team that he's put together, the coaching staff, all NFL quality, and hopefully you guys see that in the quality of the football that we're watching. What do you guys think for any of you in terms of long term, five, ten years down the line, or is it too early to focus on something like that? Look, I think we're, there's a real possibility here that we're going to do something that is transformative. I think we're going to create one of the most valuable leagues in the country behind the big four. Uh, and uh, we're going to be here for the long term. Uh, and there's a lot we can do in collaboration with the NFL. Uh, that's going to just expand the entire NFL ecosystem. Very exciting. And when we said yes, when we made this decision and we knew we wanted to bring this XFL version back, um, we were committed to the fact that it was a long-term play. We were committed to building something, building our communities, building our teams, expanding, and being here in a real way. Count on it. Is it nice to see ex-first-round pick like Paxton Lynch, ex-second-round pick Cody Latimer, guys that were at one point relatively well-known big names in the NFL? You know, we have, I think, right now about 65% of our players with NFL pedigree. So it is so fantastic to see these guys on the field. They are ambitious. They're excited. They're excited to show what they haven't had a chance to display just yet. So, um, And they bring a leadership quality for our younger guys. I just think it's it's amazing. It's great to have them. Agree. Look, I mean, how cool is it to see football in February going into March, April, and into May? So uh, I feel like it, it, it's shaping up pretty good. And great to be here in Houston, by the way. It's been a long time since we've been back here in Houston.